Welcome back, fishing friends, to the Worldwide Headquarters of the Pinhook Fishing Club. All right, guys, I got a quick little video for you, some interesting things, and uh, we're going to tie a couple lures. We're going to try something new that I saw from a friend of mine, some kind of a monstrosity that I've never seen before, never used one before. So we're going to test that out, and I got some new teeny tiny jig heads in. So thanks for sticking around with me tonight, and uh, hey, if you're new to the channel, thanks for stopping by. My name's Alan, and uh, I make all kinds of videos, but mostly fishing videos, and uh, thank you for supporting me. Okay, so let me put you in the stand here, and then we'll get started. Let me adjust some lights here, because I just got something in the mail. Two of them. Now I'll be doing some adjusting to them. These are a couple of big swim baits. I usually don't throw swim baits, but I saw these and I said, well, they may be good ones to try. So I'm going to try those. The other thing is, a friend of mine loves to throw worms. And of course, we get this the fluff the marabou coming off do I have the fan on? yeah the fans on so anyway but what he does is he threads puts a little super glue on then he threads a worm and then he'll put some kind of bucktail marabou and flash on the tip of it so as you can see it's just a standard worm and he says he catches a heck of fish a heck of a lot of fish and you can use a round ball jig head or like this one's got a little uh, football head on it. There is some flash in there. And he loves fishing with this setup. And he makes his own. So I made this one. And I thought it turned out pretty good. No complaints. So I'm going to try to make another one. And you guys can hang out and watch me do this. And I'm going to hang this guy back over here. He's still in kind of the drying process. So, first things first, we need a worm and a jig head. So, I used that kind of reddish worm last time. We're going to use this greenish, brownish, pumpkinish, <laughs> green pumpkin kind of a worm. So, I got the jig heads right over here. Man, oh man, I've got so much tackle. This little box here is heavy. It's got all my different types of jig heads in it. So, so I've got all kinds of hooks, round ball jig heads, Football heads, tube weights, all that kind of stuff is. There we go. Okay, so let's get this thing into the vise here. Hopefully, you guys can see that. There we go. Whoop, 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 whoop. Ah, not quite like that. Did you see I already made a mistake? Got to thread the worm on there first. So let's get this thing rolling. Just right through the nose. Squinch it on down. Did I glue my fingers together? Come on, man. Come on, man. You can't be having this much trouble. 
What is going on here? It's like it's not wanting to go. Sorry, guys. I got to get where I can see here. There we go. All right, she's on. second are we in there straight there we go little bit of a bulge in there but I think we'll be okay all right what else do I need hang on I gotta grab something from here it's bulging a little bit on the tip there but I think it'll be fine So this is all new to me. But even though you have a little bulge, you can kind of correct that. When you start cinching this down, now it's all right if it if it looks awkward like that as it is, okay? So, what are we going to do here for my other colors? We're going to go with this green kind of a gold that'll match that really well. And I got a different type of gold flash over there I can use. So normally you open those up at the, at the other end, but I like to get them right up here where they're pinched off. Now, he makes them where they're just right around the jig head he doesn't go much much more past that so see how mine is a little bit further pretty much to right here he cuts his off about right there I like to do mine right where the hook starts So, obviously, there's different ways to each their own. That's going to work great. Okay, now i got to figure out what kind of colors I want on there. So, we got the flash. I put the flash on first this time. Something that we know is going to have a good contrast with that. We're going to do Marabou. I know exactly what we're going to do. We're going to go with this nice bucktail color no not too much just a little pinch sorry you guys are like I can't we can't see anything yeah I know get this right where I want it.
trim it just a little more. Come on. There we go. Check that out. Just enough there to attract a little attention. Remember, these are different than if you're making just a normal bucktail type or like a crappie or bass jig. Same thing here, just a pinch. Now what about the sides on the other one? I didn't really mess around with the sides, but on this one we can. And for the, the sides, since we have just a hint of kind of a reddish color in there, we're going to go with orange. The other one came out pretty good because I was using the Marabou. And so it it was it fluffed up on the sides pretty good. Come on, what is this? I can't get this out of here. Jeez, Louise. All right, just a pinch here. There we go. Just a pinch on the other side. Definitely going to take more practice. That doesn't look too bad. I've never thrown a worm with anything like this before. I don't even know what you call this. Alright, let's get this one trimmed down here, tied off. I can see I have a little bit I'll need to trim. Oops, I may not be able to get that one to go. Fat fingers. There we go. What's going on here? I got everything tangled up. So this is fun to do. I get home from school, got to take care of all the 
stuff I need to get done and then I can work on this he sent me a picture of this and I was like I gotta try to make one alright so now we've got two of them so it's fluffed out pretty good and keep in mind although it looks stiff here this will breathe as it's going through the water and I got some I got to trim around the the jig head here but he says it works wonderfully I've never even thought about making something like this sorry guys I'm trying to trim here there we go so this is gonna fluff as it's going through the water phenomenal okay a couple other things I want to show you let me get this vice all set how it should should be right here okay guys I got some more jig heads in but these are a little different these are like 1 64th super dinky little little guys so I'm making some of these for sorry didn't mean to pick my nose there but I've got this was in it or buy it so the, this these little jigs here can be used for ice fishing crappie or panfish like really small panfish crappie would hit them but your best bet is going to be panfish I mean that is so small that it's tough for me to even get my hands on there to to do anything so the first thing we're going to do is put just a little bit of glue and then we're going to get a base going there we go isn't that sometimes how it goes nothing goes totally smooth all right okay guys there we go I'm gonna get a I'm gonna get started with a little piece of flash just a little piece not too much and I'll trim that down alright so the next thing we need to do is get a piece of feather from the old turkey farm it's gonna go here Then just a little piece. Now this is hard. Especially if you got fat fingers and you're dealing with a jig that's really small. Somebody might say ice fishing. Yep. You can use hair jigs for ice fishing. Man, that's perfect. I'll have to trim that flash up. And that's all it takes for a little guy like this. Thank you. 
There we go. Ooh, did you see that? I almost caught the edge of the feather there. Just a little bit of glue. Hmm. Let's take a look at the. What is up with this? And the glue's not wanting to screw on there tight. Alright guys, just a little bitty jig. Teeny tiny. The flash I could probably trim up just a little bit, but I'll leave it like this. But look at that, that thing is deadly in the water. Trim a little bit around here. Look at this little tiny guy. Well, you drop that down in there in an ice fishing hole and jig it or for panfish. That is a great little mini lure. Am I going to put eyes on there? No. <laughs> All right. So we got both of those in. Trying to think if there's any other big news. Well, I'm waiting on my package from Travis Manson, the Smallmouth, Smallmouth Crush. They had that auction. So that's on its way. Should be here. Oh, within the next, probably tomorrow it'll be here. And I've been also tinkering with an idea of making my own French fries. No, not food. The French fry was a little worm, kind of like a centipede, that for many years has been used to catch a ton of smallmouth bass. So with those exo sticks, I'm thinking if I trim it down to the, about the length of a French fry, and you could rig those up right on a jig head, those French fries. Some guys like to wacky rig it, but uh, you put it on a little jig head, bounce that along, it works just great. So I'm thinking about doing that with an exo stick, trim it down, like one of my solid black ones, and that'll look pretty cool. Even with those, if I trim that down, I could put like a little collar that we did tonight on one of those, but I'm not going to. The little french fry, it's just going to do its thing. And uh, so that's my next experiment to test that out, see how that's going to go. But anyway, hey, thanks for hanging out with me uh, tonight. Just a quick short video to show you a couple things. I'll do some more uh, bait info in the next, or lure info in the next uh, day or so. And then, of course, this weekend, I got to get out and try to break that PB for a sniper, for a sniper, for a striper. 23 inches, that's on the kind of smaller, that's when they're just starting to get big. They get way bigger than that. But a PB for me is good, excellent. Good enough for me to get started, but I wanna to try to break that. And also there's some bass and things. And I may be tempted to try one of those giant uh, baits right there, one of those big swim baits. Fire that out there. So we'll see how that goes testing that out. I may put a little paint on there to put some little shad markings on it. So we'll see how that how that winds up going. I think I called it a, a glide bait. Not not really. It doesn't have the little hinge in there. But it's you know just a big size swim bait. I'm thinking six inches on those. So we'll give those a try. Alright I think that's gonna be it. Drop a comment below if there's if you've used one of these kind of worm type setups here with this collar let me grab this one if you used any of these before like a rig like this let me know i'm curious about that what is going on here how are you shedding man oh man marabou gotta love it okay the other thing is i've been kind of curious and interested in guys that are painting lures not with an airbrush but by hand i know a guy that does that with the minis for uh dungeons and dragons those little minis those little warrior dudes 
And I know another guy for electric football, the old Tudor electric football game. He hand paints his little football guys. So I want to see if anybody's hand painting lures. I think that'd be kind of cool to watch. All right, until next time, I'll see you then, guys. Hey, thanks for stopping by. Bye-bye. <laughs>